by foot, by car, or by bike. Several hundred people from all across the country paid tribute to Alex Shepard Sunday afternoon. It's amazing. It's, it's a very heartwarming feeling. I mean, just to see all the community pull together for, you know, for Alex. And I mean, it's, it's an honor to be a part of it. And I feel very privileged to be a part of such wonderful people who ride and show their support in any way we can to just keep them alive and all of us. A celebration of life at Grizzly Peak Winery in Ashland to remember the 13-year-old boy who touched the lives of people who knew him and some who never met him. Ruth Hill knew Alex through his father, Dan. They ride bikes together. She says Alex will always be on her mind when she's on her bike. It's like days where you think, you know, there's just, it's too hard, you know, you can't do it. And then you always think to Alex, you know, he'd be out here riding with us. and He would suffer through any of the heats or the big hills that you think of when you, you know, come on a big ride. So it's always a big motivation, I think, for all of us. Alex's father, Dan, is humbled and amazed by the turnout of so many people celebrating his son. It's hard to know how much love there is in this community for our son, but um, I mean, we're blessed and thankful for it. Some shared their experiences with Alex, the Shepherd family, and how their lives are better because of him. Dan cherishes all of the time he shared with his son. He says he's forever changed. It causes you to reevaluate your life and, and change priorities, you know, I mean, one would never think that their child would die at 13, but when they do, it certainly um, makes you look at your three-year-old or your four-year-old and, and think about how you want to live the next decades with them. Dan says his son lived a life with his family any 13-year-old who wasn't going to survive deserved, and the community helped make that happen.